when Estora Sanayan erupted after Carolina Marin's title-winning point at last year's Total BWF World Championships, there was plenty to cheer about for the home crowd. Staged in Jakarta, Indonesia, fans were ecstatic to finally have one of their own gracing the women's singles podium after a 20-year absence. Unseated but buoyed by the home faithful, Linda Wenny Fanatri fought her way through the established order and capped off her amazing run with a memorable bronze medal finish. It's not easy playing in Jakarta because the atmosphere can be intimidating. Especially when you're out there alone, you can be afraid to make mistakes. But I used it as my motivation instead. The fans got excited after each winning point, so I just kept going. We sat down with a 26-year-old as she shared with us her journey in becoming Indonesia's top women's singles player. Linda Wenny's athletic pursuit started with a more refined pastime before she was impressed by her country's badminton legacy. Before my badminton journey began, I was actually into ballet, but I had to stop because the classes ended late. My elder sister was playing badminton then, and I just followed whatever she was doing. My coach was educating me on badminton greats like Susie Susanti, telling me about her Olympic title, and also the several achievements of Mia Adina. I became curious and interested in the sport. The second of three siblings soon cut her teeth at the Jaya Raya Club as a 10-year-old. She continued her development at a sports school, and it was there she started making her mark on the national circuit. Linda's winning performances were rewarded in 2008 when she earned herself a place in Indonesia's national team. A dream come true for the Jakarta native. I'm actually wearing this shirt, the same one I used to see on television, but now I'm here. I was so happy. 2010 was my first team event with Indonesia. It was the Uber Cup in Malaysia, and we were playing against Denmark. I couldn't believe that I was playing at the Uber Cup. I was so proud of myself. Her star seemed to be on the rise. In 2012, after finishing runner-up at both the Vietnam and Chinese Taipei Opens, Linda broke her title duck at the Syed Modi International. But after a promising start in 2013, things began to unravel. Patchy form and injuries halted any progress she was making. A frustrated Linda began doubting herself. I had achieved my highest ranking in 2013. I had risen as high as 11 in the world rankings. Then slowly, I started to slip to 15, then 18. And suddenly, I found myself down to 30th and even 40th. I wasn't performing consistently in matches, and the injuries I picked up weren't helping. I was losing confidence in myself. I needed to bounce back and get back my form, but I knew it would take time. She was close to throwing in the towel, but was lucky to be in the company of those who knew how to help her regain her confidence. I was able to share my thoughts with seniors like Liliana Natsia and coaches like Richard Mainaki. I asked them, how should I overcome these challenges? They told me the same thing, to keep going and not to give up. I did have a moment when I wanted to quit, but they convinced me not to. They told me as long as I'm given an opportunity, I should go for it. The shuttle turned the corner last year. After a quarter-final finish at the BCA Indonesia Open, followed by a team bronze in the SEA Games, Linda's confidence was on a high going into the Worlds. The highlight in her run to the last four was the energy-sapping round of 16 encounter against 2013 winner Ratchanok Intanon. My coaches were telling me to hang on because they could see she was tiring out. It was physically draining, but I just focused on getting the next point. 
Rachana was taking a lot of breaks. So I told myself that I was stronger than her. That's how I motivated myself. She eventually retired from injury, but I believed I maximised my own chances, even though I was trailing a few points at that time. Winning that match gave me more belief in myself, and it spurred me on in the next game against Tai Tu Wing. I had more faith in my stamina. Her renewed self-belief proved crucial against Tai Tu Ying. In the quarter-final match against the Taiwanese, Linda saved six match points before winning to advance to the next round. In reaching the semi-finals, she assured her country a bronze at the World Championships. Linda rounded off 2015 with another quarter-final result at last month's Indonesia Masters. 2016 will be a big one for the world number 25 as she eyes a coveted place at the upcoming Rio Olympics. With emerging stars shaking up the old order at the top of the sport, this year's Summer Games could turn out to be the most exciting yet. The rivalry is getting more intense these days. Korea, Thailand, Japan and China have all winners in their team. Our biggest challenge doesn't come from the Chinese anymore. There are all these players, including Carolina from Spain. Finishing in the top three at the Olympics will be the target. It only happens every four years, and that makes the occasion even more special. Even for the bronze medal, there's only one recipient. So every player, including myself, dreams to be there. The Olympics is truly the pinnacle of the sport. You are the Olympic. Indonesia is primed to be a major badminton presence come August in Rio. And you can be sure Linda Weni Fanetri will do all she can to bring glory to her home country.